Hi, this is Christoph and today I want to show you how to extend Elastic um, by programming your own uh, little feature. And what is the goal for today? So the goal is that when we have Elastic here and this uh, nice little uh, image with flowers and we go to the classification tab and we open our feature selection dialog there you see, uh, as you might know, we have those predefined groups over there and this group or each group can be selected at uh, a certain scale. Um, today I want to show you how to extend uh, uh, this dialog by uh, adding a new group. In our case I will add uh, group morphology which contains the morphological opening at a given scale and of course we want to um, reuse all this functionality of how to select the scale and yeah that's the goal for the day so let's get started uh, just let me close this for now and I change to uh, my IDE in my case this is Eclipse and on the left side you see the basic code structure of Elastic so this is the main folder and there is a core and a GUI part uh, of the core elastic uh, um, parts and another folder is modules and this folder um, contains all the modules and typically these modules correspond um, to a tab and as you remember the feature selection um, button was in the classification uh, tab so we check here uh, in the classification module and as you see in the core folder of the classification module there's a folder called features and right there there is a file called standard features pi and this is exactly the place where all the features are coded so when we open um, this file and we look on the right you see in the outline that there are several classes and each of these class uh, corresponds to a feature and just have a look at one for example this Laplacian of Gaussian and you see this um, Laplacian of Gaussian or a feature class has several members um, so it has of course a name it corresponds to a group or to several groups and then there's a, a, a number which specifies how many outputs uh, the feature produces in our case um, for both 2D and 3D uh, this feature just creates uh, a single uh, output so it takes a grayscale image and also produces a grayscale image um, this could be different for s uh, other features and then there are several methods of course there's a constructor we don't have to care about it but there's uh, um, two important functions which actually then compute the features and to make this uh, feature accessible so how does Elastic uh, notice that there is a new feature this is just by inheriting from the feature base class so this is the main concept of creating a new feature so um, we take just this class here as a template so I copy it go to the end of my file and insert it again so where's the paste here? Here we go. So as I mentioned, uh, I want to add um, a morphological operation, in our case the morphological opening. So I would just call this class morphological opening. And of course, oops, once again morphological opening. And I want to also set the name correct morphological opening and now the first um, important step is to create a new group and I want to call this group morphology and this feature exactly takes also grayscale image um, produces grayscale image so in both cases either 2d and 3d um, we have a one here so let's have a look at those compute functions. So in the 2D case, what is happening here? So this line here um, just extracts the functor, some functor which computes something. And in this case, it's Laplacian of Gaussian. And this is in the Vikra uh, module, in a sub-module filters. And this is exactly the place uh, where our new compute function lies. Our new compute function, which does the morphological opening, is called multi um, gray scale I just ask um, Eclipse for a bit help uh, multi-gray scale opening 
and there you see um, the parameters um, are uh, automatically extended here and the parameter is the first uh, the first argument is volume the second argument is sigma but we just want to extract the functor so we don't need the uh, arguments in the first place so I delete them now in the variable func now I have this functor which takes the two arguments and computes something out of it and then in the next line the actual result is computed so here we have this convenience function which just applies um, this functor to all channels which are in data so this apply to all channel functions uh, gets the data gets the functor and gets the only argument in our case the sigma so then we are kind of finished because we extracted the multi square scale opening functor and just apply it to all channels which are present in data and this multi square scale function is called multi square scale uh, function because um, this multi comes from uh, just indicating it works on ND so it also works on 3D images so this is good you can just copy this function here and paste it to the 3D method so that's it so now we have those we have implemented those two compute functions um, we set the name um, of our feature and we created a new group morphology as so we set uh, the parameters uh, for the number of output channels in our case to one and just for channel information this constructor just takes care about um, um, to check uh, which sigma is available um, for example if you ever have a very small image and you have a very big sigma this is of course not possible so this init constructor just checks for that okay so let me save this and now we go back to um, elastic and run elastic again just open this image with the nice little flower which is on my desktop so I created a project and now we can um, select this feature and you see there is a new group morphology uh, which we can select at a scale mm. just select medium and compute this feature and it's done so um, now we could just do some classification just take two label classes and um, label bit and go to live prediction mode and you see okay this worked quite well with this new feature so but to actually look at the feature um, we can also add this feature so I maximize the window a bit and make this a bit bigger this right part and here in the overlay section there's a plus button where I can select new overlay so I click on here and look at this hierarchy here so you see we have the classification group which is a subgroup features and in there there are is our new morphological opening with a sigma of one and here are the results for all the channels and the last channel here is the red channel so I just select this here and put it to our overlay list and now I disable all the other overlays and just enable the morphological opening and here you see the result so um, looks quite good as expected and now we are able to use this feature and of course we could also add more morphological um, operations to our morphology group so that's it for, to uh, for, for today and yeah I hope you enjoyed it it helped a bit and yeah well see you soon <laughs>